Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an empties video and I'm a little bit disappointed because I don't have that many empties. Most of them are actually travel size. If you want to see what I went through, please keep on watching. As always, I'm going to start out with my makeup empties that I keep in this bag, just separated from everything else. Makeup is the category that I think is the most exciting part of an empties video, so that is what I'm going to start out with. The first empty I have is my W7 nail polish. This is a part of my project polish and it is just a beautiful fuchsia pink shade that I have been loving here for summer. Summer is going to end soon. Denmark it has ended like two weeks ago or something. Therefore I wanted to use this up very quickly and I did. Very excited to have a summer shade out of my collection because now I'm more into the nude and darker colors. Oh, actually a uh, lip balm I'm going to declutter or throw out basically is my new Ori lip treatment. I'm so sad that this is um, expired. Oh yeah, it has been a very nice a thin lip balm that you just had to squeeze out of this tube right here but now it has gone gritty can you see the like bubbles in there that is the gritty part almost like a lip scrub but i know it's not supposed to be and it is actually stinging my hand so i'm pretty sure this is expired that's make me sad because it was a part of my lip service project pen, one of the items I wanted to finish this year. I have a mascara, it is from W7, it is the Absolute Lashes and this is a kind of dupe for the Benefit The Real Mascara because it has the same packaging, kind of, and kind of the same brush. This was a very dry mascara and I have tried the Benefit The Real uh, Mascara and it's not a dupe. Uh, the benefit they real is very very nice. It's not dry at all, which this is. I don't like dry mascaras. I don't like them completely wet either, but I don't like them dry because then I'm just like, why should I keep on using it because it's dry? A mascara that I actually really really enjoy from W7 is this one. This is the W7 Last Tastic False Liquid Lashes. It has a big brush, but it's not too big and it doesn't have a curve or anything to it so it's really really nice and it's a plastic brush which i prefer i throw my mascaras out when they are flaking and gets into my concealer and then i'm just black instead of nude i don't use any expensive mascaras so i don't really care if i put eye drops or anything in it to receive it i don't care i have used up a Rimmel london brow this way brow styling gel so this is a clear brow gel. You can get them in blonde and a medium brown. This is so disgusting, but I really, really like this. This is kind of big, but it's not too big. I have a small lash glue that I have had forever that I just found in my drawer. It is so yellow and separated, so that is going. I have a package packaging something for a highlighter from Manicada. I've actually departed this into another pan because this has a awkward shade uh, and you can't get your brush into the edges and I had massive pan and I couldn't get anything on my brush anymore so I departed it into this pan right here. I only have one hair care item and that is a small size, a travel size of the Batiste dry shampoo in fruity and cheeky cherry. A lot of people say oh you can just leave it and then it will disappear. No, it won't. It will stay and your hair will look great. I took this with me to Japan just because I just needed some dry shampoo because it was so hot. Uh, but I didn't use it up and then I used it up when I was home. I will never buy this type of, uh, of the range again. Only when I'm going to travel I will bring the small size. But I use the brunette version just because it doesn't make my hair go grey. For a run I used up a pack of cotton rounds use a lot of nail polish and micellar water. Speaking of, I have a big size 400 milliliters of the Nivea Daily Essential Sensitive Micellar Water. I love this stuff so much. There's actually a little bit left. Well, I really, really enjoy this one 
and I got it 50% off so why not? I used it for like half a year, maybe more. I finally have used this up, I'm so happy. This is the Placia by Mattis Clean Up Face Foam for Young Skin. I don't think this cleared up anything. I don't think it did wonders for my skin. I don't know if this is the product that broke me out during the spring and summer. I definitely think it my bad skin was caused by stress mostly, but I don't think this helped either. Then I have one more of these Round Spall Skin Tonic Nordic for all skin types. This is the product itself. It is so plain and boring, but this is the packaging, which is so nice. I really really like the skin tonic. I don't use it that often. I mostly use a micellar water instead. But I will uh, definitely consider buying this trio in a full size because I really really liked it. My camera cut me off because it was overheated apparently because it is so warm in Denmark. Not. I was going to talk about this one. This is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Serum. I love this stuff. But you can't get it in Denmark anymore. It has been discontinued off the shelves, I believe. I don't know if L'Oreal makes this line anymore. A viewer said to me that I could get this serum, which makes me so excited about it. I have a few serums in my collection. After I have finished those, I will see if this is still available. And if it is, I'm going to stock up <laughs> because this is amazing and it is not very expensive for a serum I believe and this actually works. Minimizes my redness in my skin. I don't really have redness but I have redness after uh, acne scarring and it is so moisturizing and my skin, my skin loves this stuff so much. Then I have uh, some cleansing wipes. These were so bad. This is from a brand called Cherries I believe. I bought it in the borderline from Denmark to Germany. There's a border shop you know and this was just very inexpensive and I was in need of cleansing wipes and I couldn't find my Nivea ones. Nivea ones. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't buy them. It's not worth it. Then I have a small size of my The Body Shop The Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Facial Oil. This one right here. I have it in my Harry Potter project pan and I finished this early in the month. I'm not going to buy it because I'm more of a cream person. I'm not the biggest fan of facial oils but this was so so nice. It did make my pillow greasy for example. It did take a while to sink in. In the mornings my skin felt amazing after this one. So if you're an oil person facial oil person. This is really really nice. Um, yeah, And then I have a three step blackhead remover thingy I bought off eBay. I really wanted to try it and this was really inexpensive and I actually think it kind of worked because I, I think it is because it was a three step. Uh, maybe it's a bit gimmicky, I don't know. I have some pictures here. So the first step is a white uh, nose strip so it can like export the blackheads which says right here and then the second step is the actually nose strip which sucks the blackheads out when you pu peel that off you are going to make the pore smaller again and that is the last nose strip nose mask um, which is this step right here it kind of worked but i'm not going to buy it again because i think it's a bit Overweighted. Finally, I have some samples, foil samples. I'm going to put my glasses down. The first one I have is my L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Laser Times 3 Night Cream. So it's an anti-age cream. It's just a night cream. I don't remember how it was, so it wasn't that good. Kind of perfumey. Then I use this sleeping cream. It is from La Vera. It's a German brand, I believe. It is a 5-in-1 overnight effect re-energizing sleeping cream. I remember I like this one better than the other one and I'm pretty sure this is cheaper anyway. I have a hair pack. This is a hair mask that I got from a Japanese hotel when I went to Japan. And the same with this cleansing oil right here. And then this 
facial cleanser right here. These are all a part of the panning games that I'm going to film after this one. So this is a small sneak peek. And this is the Body Shop Oils of Life Intentionally Revitalizing Cream. I use this uh, at night time because I have a day cream and I don't have a specific night cream. So I just use the cream for everything except the day cream because it has SPF in it. Just a hair mask. I didn't think it did anything better than my Garnier one I already have. And this cleansing oil was so nice. I miss a decent cleansing oil to remove my makeup and a pre-cleanse. So the facial cleanser, this is so, so nice, but I think my skin hates it. I use this in the morning, which I never really do, but I didn't cleanse my face probably the night before. So I just thought I would just do a proper cleanse right now. So I use this one. I I loved it. It lathered really lathered. Is it called that? It uh, really really nicely all, all over the skin, and it was just really really nice. But in the evening, I got pimples everywhere, everywhere down here. I can't get it anymore, so it's, it doesn't really matter. And this cream was just really really nice. It was not too thin. It's not too thick. It was really really nice. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more empties, please subscribe down below. I do them every month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. And until I will see you guys next time, please take care. Bye.